As I've already made a video on the initial impressions of the Android 8.1 Oreo update of the Moto G4 Plus. So in this video, I'll be going through all the improvements and new features of the Moto G4 Plus after the update in details. So it's been a couple of days since I've updated my Moto G4 Plus to Android 8.1 Oreo. And right off the bat, you can say that the phone looks and feels different. Or you can say the phone feels like a new phone. So the first things first, as you guys can see here, the lock screen appearance has changed a little bit after the update and the fingerprint is working fine after the update. So now we come to the home screen and right off the bat you guys can say that there is no app where icon in the middle here. Instead now it's swipe up to enter the app drawer and swipe down to close the app drawer. And at the home screen, we can see a new type of scrolling animation. So the user interface of the phone has changed completely. This is because Motorola is now using the Moto app launcher for the user interface of this device instead of the Google Now launcher as it was used before the update. Now if we search Google Now launcher in the Play Store, it shows that the Moto G4 Plus isn't compatible with the Google Now launcher. So it's Moto app launcher for now and it is similar to what we see in the Moto G5 and the Moto G6. So the app drawer is now transparent instead of white as it was before the update and all the icons have been rounded to give a more symmetric look to the user interface. The icons that are not round are put inside a white circle to give a more symmetric look to the user interface. The notification panel is now swiped down from anywhere in the home screen instead of swipe down from the status bar as it was before the update and as you guys can probably see the notification panel has changed completely it's now white with black icons instead of dark gray with white icons as it was in the nougat and the settings icon have come down the settings menu have itself changed and if we go to systems we can see that the android version is 8.1.0 Oreo So the Android security patch level is December 1st, 2018 nav bar is now white instead of black as it was in the nougat. From my observation, the battery life has improved a little bit although the charging speed or the speed of charging has decreased a little bit. The phone dialer app icon has changed with the new calling screen and also the Moto app has changed with the new icon and new features. So some of the new features of the Moto app are the media controls, screenshot editor, Three finger screenshot, pick up to stop ringing and flip for do not disturb and also in the moto display section you get a new attentive display feature where the screen doesn't turn off while you are looking at it. I'll be going through all the features of the moto apps old and new in details in a separate video. The camera app seems to be the same as it was before the update and there is no change in the camera app. From my observations, after the update, the phone feels more snappier and faster as it was before the update. Also now you can tap and hold on the icons to pop up different options. So that's it been for this video guys, hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite new feature or improvement of the update. And also do let me know if I missed anything about the update in this video. And also leave a like in this video if you guys like the video. And do subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos.